Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking you on another Linux command deep dive where I show you how to use a specific command in the Linux terminal in about five minutes or less. In today's episode we're going to be looking at how you update and upgrade your Debian based operating system like Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Linux Mint. These are two very simple commands. One if you followed the directions at the very end of this video and it's something that you should be running on a new install and every so often if you want to have your system stay up to date. Some distributions have a GUI where you can install everything through something like software update, but you can do everything through the terminal window. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your terminal window and you want to type in the following command, sudo apt get update. So sudo is super user do, apt, apt is the package manager that is used in Debian based distributions. This command gives you the latest information from the internet, any updates from the distribution, any third party software that you've installed or configured. Don't let the name fool you however, it only updates that information. It doesn't download that information. It's just telling your Linux distribution, here's what I found, here's where you can find it online, here's where you can download it. You can also see a list of what it's found by typing in apt list dash upgradable. So let's go apt list dash dash upgradable. So this will give you a list of everything that it's found during the uh, updating process right here. So I've already run the update command so we can see that it's got a few things here that it can update that it is upgradable so we've got some updates from Jamie Jellyfish here perfect the next command is also a very simple command it is sudo apt get upgrade Now this is the meat and potatoes of staying up to date. This downloads and installs any updates to the system that it would have found during the sudo apt get update command. It also gives you the option to say yes as to whether or not you want to go through the install. Let's go ahead and hit that here. So yes here at the end it says do you want to continue yes no so you can go ahead and type Y or N if you want to go ahead and continue with the update. So I'm going to hit no or N here to say no and clear this. You can automatically accept this by adding dash Y at the end of the command. So if we go ahead and clear it up. So you can type sudo apt get update dash Y and that automatically accepts yes you want to install these updates. Another thing that you can do is that you can simulate the experience, meaning that if you want to see what happens during the install, but you don't actually want to change anything, just to see if you have any conflicts during the install, you can do that by typing dash dash dry dash run. Or the more simpler version of that is just dash s for simulation. And let's go ahead and run that simulation here. And it's going to run through everything here. Finally, you can do the whole process with a single line of code, and that line of code is sudo apt get update and end sudo apt get upgrade dash y. And what this does is it checks for updates automatically and then installs them. And depending on how many updates you have, it might take a few seconds or it might take a few minutes. So if you have something else to do, go ahead and do that. And by the time you come back, it should be done. But that's really it for installing and updating on Debian based distributions today. I hope that you've learned something from the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Until next time, keep learning and take care.